Hello everyone. Welcome to Let's Play. I mean, let's build, sorry. Let's build a medieval city. Episode 2. This series is a more of a guide than an LP or lessons. Instructional. Basically, to show people who are having trouble with this game how to do things successfully. And I have a lot of fun with it. I'm sure a lot of other people will have fun with it, so that's why I'm doing these videos. Uh, in this episode and the one following it, I am going to be going over a couple of the, uh, playing through a couple of the <clears throat> campaign missions, Charlie and Gallus. The reason why I'm doing this is because I've watched many people play campaign missions, especially watching my father play, and a few other people play online. And I noticed one that many people just, when they start the mission, they just start doing what they're told to do instead of just thinking about and preparing for the events to come, to come in the mission. And because of that, they always usually have a lot of problems in the, in the mission. I know that with my father, that's the way he did it. And he had a lot of trouble. And so, in these episodes, I'm going to show you how to, when you start a mission, how to prepare for the event to come. Get your city started. And you'll be able to use this no matter what campaign mission you you will undertake. So and that will of course lead you to better success. Because not preparing Can lead to problems. Not preparing in advance now could definitely lead to problems. Anyway, enough talk. Let's get started. I will. I'm not gonna show you um, the briefings and stuff, so I'll get back to you when I'm in the mission. Okay, here we are. Let's start the game. Start the mission. Build up our settlement here. If we succeed, I will be sheriff of Chalia soon. Now, one of our goals is to, of course, get the sheriff. But the one thing that I'm going to recommend is that don't just limit yourself by the goal. You should try to get as high as we possibly can, which I think for this mission is barren. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Also, important... Now, there are two things we're going to want to do right away. First of all is start building. As you can see, you notice that you have two... You want, to know that you want to take note of your resources, but in your territory, we have two fish... I mean, not really. We have two animal herds that will bring us plenty of stuff we need for food and clothes and cleaning supplies. Uh, 
And we have a fishing spot, which will bring fish in. We also have a stone quarry. We will need to find more. We will need one of the important things in this mission, and also for other future missions, is you'll need to build a wall, and you should build it as soon as possible. You also have this all this open land. Some of it can be used for farming, so we will in my opinion this area is the best for farming. So one thing you do wanna do is you won't do wanna get rid of anything that would be an obstacle. So I'll get rid of that right now. Now, we will need walls, and thus we will need gates. Gates are very expensive with stone, so we do not want too many of them. For that reason, I will be building my wall in a certain way. You, as you notice that, uh, as you will notice, it will cause uh, my settlers to have to walk further to get to the storehouse. But in the end, it will save me because gates are 16 stone and the city walls is one per, one per section or a few per section. I don't know. It's a lot less. We can build for sixteen gold for sixteen stone we could build a large section stretching almost this whole area. So it's definitely well worth it. As I said before, you wanna plan your roads. So I'm going to build a road from here over to here and then out to there and that will make it easier for my settlers once I conquered or captured that territory. And of course, I'm going to build Woodcutter's Hat, which is always the first one that needs building. I'm going to build another road exactly from the same point I started the first road, so that we have some kind of intersection. And this is where my wall, where my gate will be, right in front of this intersection. We'll build another road. Let's see, we need space for the um, stone cutters hat, so and this road will go all the way down. So, I made a mistake. Okay. So that is the other end of that side of that road. And let's get rid of this. The only reason why I'm getting rid of this fence is because it will be in our way when we, when we start destructing. 
that's the only re reason. I want to get rid of it before there's a problem. Okay. So now we need to start bringing in food. So... I'll start... With a hunter's hut. We don't want to build too many hunter's huts right away. And we will build a butcher shop. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to clear that fencing because I didn't want it to get in the way of our construction projects. Like a butcher shop. Okay, now as in the earlier video Start upgrading them as soon as possible to increase production. And really, these are the only roads I need because I have still have plenty of space for all the buildings I'm going to need to construct. Okay, now that those are upgraded, I can start building my stone cutter side so I can start getting stone in. But to tell you the truth, we have plenty of stone right now. But uh, we'll start on that. We're going to need a lot of stone. And we're going to be building that wall pretty soon. I like to get that. I like to get it up early so that it's not in the way of any of my other constructions. Although you can put it up at any time as long as it's up before you actually start completing. You know, sending your night to complete other objectives. That's the important part. And we're gonna build a uh, fishing hut here. And in town, we're gonna build a smokehouse. And we don't have enough um, wood. So that can be a problem. So while we're waiting for the wood to come in, I'm going to start building that wall I was talking about. And we're going to start it by building the gate. Exactly where I said I would build it. So what I want to do is make sure that it's not blocking. 
Okay. And from the gate, I'll be able to build my walls. The second gate is going to be down here. But I'll worry about that gate later on. So... That's where I... Okay, so we're gonna be... One segment over there. And we'll just basically use it up. Okay, and that's all the stone we have. As you see, I plan my roads exactly. And the wall is basically going to follow the road, not all the way. It's going to follow the road up, up to here, and then it's going to cut across. This wall is fine because it connects to here, and so it blocks it off. That's fine. You notice that I use... I used the, um... I was going to say. Okay. Um. <laughs> Still upgrading things. And do I have enough money for that? Um. So I guess I have enough wood for that. So I will build it over here. Okay. Let's see, we have 14 wood. Let's go down to the fishing hut and upgrade it. Let's rotate my camera back to where it, where it, where it was. I think it was this way, yes. Yeah, this is the way it was. Okay.